Hey folks, Blues Boy Jag here. That's a Tennessee license plate, but it's also a guitar. It's a three string cigar box guitar. Humbucker pickup. Bolt for a bridge. Bolt up here for a nut. Signed and numbered. This is tuned A, E, A, and it's a fifth string, a fourth, and a third string from a regular electric guitar set. Any brand will be fine. And I got this cranked out through a little bitty amp here. It's a 1948 Valco tube amp. Kind of, kind of similar to maybe a Blues Junior or something like stringers, a lot of four stringers, a lot of six stringers, a lot of two stringers, a lot of one stringers. I make a one string diddy bow, which is played like a lap steel, but I also make a one and two and three string diddy bow that is made out of a dowel. It's a round neck, no frets at all, and you play it like a regular guitar, but only with slide. You can fret a few notes on it, uh, depending on how you set it up. Most people prefer to play slide on that. But anyway, I make the the uh, diddy bows and the four strings look like this. Red oak neck is what I use on these. Let me turn off this other light here that might be a little bit too bright. I don't, I don't know if that's working out so good, so let's try that, okay. So that's a red oak neck, fret markers, 25 and a half inch scale, just like a Stratocaster. Humbucker pickup, I also make them with single coil pickups. And one volume control, one quarter inch jack, strap holder, and a strap holder up here. I put extra wood, extra red oak wood in the back of these guitars so that it's weighted when you are on stage. It's weighted like any electric guitar would be, so it won't sit like that, it'll sit like that. So I make all my cigar boxes with the uh, red oak necks, with the exception of the dowels. Those, some of those are red oak, some of those are poplar. And uh, like I said, these are uh, weighted down, which also helps your sustain. I use a bolt for a bridge. These are perfectly intonated. A lot of folks at first glance are, are thinking, bolt, what? Uh -huh. And they see a bolt there and they're like, hmm. But it is perfectly in tune all the way up the neck. I'll show you. So here's an A note. So if I do the harmonic at the 12th fret, and I fret the note at the same fret, it should be the same note both ways. So it's perfectly intonated all the way up the neck. All the notes are perfectly in tune all the way up the neck. Uh, a lot of people ask me, should I get a three string? Should I get a four string? Well, if you're a beginner guitar player and maybe you've tried to play a regular six string guitar and it didn't work out so well, which a ton of my customers, I mean tons of my customers have said that. Uh, lots of retired people, uh, folks that, uh, like I said, have tried to play regular six string but just couldn't figure it out. And they, they asked me, should I get a three or a four? Well, it's kind of up to you, and I know you don't want that answer, but it's really the truth. But if you want more, uh, a more detailed answer, if you want to get fancy, uh, four strings the way to go. You know, it's easier to play minor chords, easier to play some seventh chords up and down the neck on a four. Not that you can't do it on a three, but a long, 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 long,
a three string playing a lot of those chords you're gonna have one or two strings open and you're gonna be fretting maybe one or two of the other notes you know in various locations up and down the neck like you know instead of everything being down here if you get a four string a lot of your chords not all a lot most maybe uh, of the sevenths and minors and so forth are all gonna be down here and y'all are probably like what difference does that make well if you're singing which some of you might be singing uh, you don't want to be jumping all over the neck when you're singing you want to be able to stay in one spot when you're singing a lot easier take it from someone who knows uh, don't have to do it that way, but trust me, it's easier. Especially when you don't have a six string. So three and four stringers can be more difficult to play than a six string. And y'all are going, what? But uh, it depends on how much knowledge you've got. You know, I can play, yeah, not me, anybody can play on a regular six string. 15 chords, 20 chords, all within the first two or three frets. I mean, you can play, you can do your, play your entire 50-year career on guitar, play every chord you ever need within the first three or four or five frets. So that, you know, that makes it easier because you're not jumping all over the place. The reason for that is you have six strings, a lot more notes, a lot more strings, a lot more notes, a lot more chords down here. A three string and a four string, well, yeah, sure, it's easier, but to get fancy, it's harder. So... That's the best I can do to explain all that to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for your kind support.